Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akiyam throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, I want to do this lesson on um, how to come to your brother and, and, and why you shouldn't hold grudges. All right, you should not hold grudges against a brother if if a brother has something on his mind if he feels some type of way about you all right he should come tell you and and if you got a problem with him you should go tell him don't hold a grudge if you hold a grudge a grudge is like an avalanche it's like a like a it's like a, a snowball it's like a snowball effect it's like a snowball rolls and rolls and rolls and it gets bigger and bigger each time it rolls. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, it's, 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 it's unstoppable and you can't stop it. All right? You don't want to get to a point where you you look at a brother with, with the side eye, you hold grudges, and the next thing you know, you, 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 you basically bring that to another brother because you try to basically go to the next brother and talk bad about the other brother. And now you're murmuring. Now you're spreading rumors. Now you're planting seeds and clicking up with other brothers, man. And that's, and, and that's a problem within the body, man. All right? You're, you're, showing, you're showing discourse amongst the brethren. All right? And you don't want to do that. All right? You don't want to click up and have little little clicks within the body and now you know the it, within the body you got one part of the body going one way and the other going the, the, the next way and that's not the way it's supposed to be so you have a brother you're supposed to go be able to be brotherly and speak to him directly and solve the problem all right because it's going to be a problem all right you want to stop it before it becomes a problem all right it's a small issue you go to him directly, you solve it, all right? You don't let that fester and grow, and next thing you know, it's, it's out of control, all right? Next thing you know, you're out the camp, you're out the truth, all right? And now you're a bug out. And all you got to do is be a man and step to your brother and tell him what the problem was, all right? This is Ecclesiasticus 20 and 2. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly and he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt so if you confess your fault you're going to be preserved from hurt meaning your feelings or even physically man things get physical with brothers too all right you don't want it to get that that level but it, it could happen all right so you're going to get your feelings hurt you know what I'm saying <laughs> jaw hurt whatever at the end of the day you want to be able to not have secret anger all right you want to confess your fault all right and 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 and, and come together and come to a solution where things can get better all right like it says at the beginning it says it is much better to reprove all right it's much better to get it off your chest all right than to hold it and hold grudges and be angry secretly whole time the brother don't even know you got a problem with him all right you you angry at him he don't even know why you know what i mean because you ain't man enough to step to him and let him know hey look bro you know we got an issue man and then he won't you know, what's the issue then you let him know all right be a man and step to him and let him know hey bro this is what it is this is why i got an issue with and et cetera et cetera and and and, and squash that shit all right not everybody in the body is gonna like you everybody everyone you know some brothers just don't really deal with other brothers you know what i'm saying but they all got a common um 
they have one thing in common, man, is that they want to do this work and get salvation. It doesn't matter if, you know, saying you don't mess with this brother or not. At the end of the day, you respect them and you do the work with them. You know what I mean? Not everybody's spirit is, 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 is willing to compromise with another brother's spirit. Some brothers are just different. It's all good. As long as you come together and you love one another and you do the will of the Father. That's all that matters, man. You know? Some brothers are more quiet than another brother. Too quiet. You know what I mean? For, for the liking of another brother. You know? And then, you know, some brothers just kind of like to be to themselves. You know what I mean? And they do they and they do the work. They come together and you know what I mean. They do what they need to do. You know they they're on the straight and narrow. And some brothers are a lot more lively and they come together and they're the life of the party. And you know what I'm saying some brothers are just better at different things. That's what makes the body unique. You know. But one thing's for sure that if you have a problem with a brother, you have to go to him and solve that problem so that there's no more issue within the body. All right. This is Matthews 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault before thee, and him alone, if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. All right? So you want to go to him alone because you don't want to go to the bishops, to the elders, to the deacons, or whoever. You know, you want to go to that brother alone and solve the problem so that everybody ain't got to be all in it you know because the elders and the bishops they have you know more um important uh duties to attend to than to be dealing with your issue when you should be able to to judge the smallest matters as the scriptures say we should be able to judge the smallest matters so you should be able to go to your brother and solve this yourselves one-on-one -on -one, all right so if you go to him alone and if he hear you you gain a brother all right verse 16 but if he will not hear thee then take with thee one or two more that in the the, the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established so now you got to go and get other people involved because he don't want to hear it all right so now you got to get witnesses man so that everybody could be, you know, there's no, there's not going to be any he, he say, she say type stuff. You got proof right here. You got other people who are witnesses to this issue. All right. Verse 17. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. So you're looked upon as an enemy now. You mean to tell me you can't handle any type of strife with your brother? You can't forgive him? You know what I mean? Some things just, you know, you just got to separate and you be out the body. Like if he commit adultery with his wife or something like that or do something extremely uh, flagrant and evil, um, you know, you got to separate. But at the end of the day, you know, some things, you know, you, you, you can... Um, you know, most things, man, you can, you can resolve, you know what I'm saying, as a brother. Sometimes Jake just be so wicked and evil that they just hold grudges and they just don't want to forgive. Like, you can't forgive your brother, but Yahweh Shah is supposed to forgive you. That's crazy, you know. You know, some, it's just, it's wild, you know. Some, Jake, Jake be wanting forgiveness from the Lord, but they can't forgive their own brother, you know. The Lord said, be faithful over a few things. He said, you know, love Yahweh with all your heart and, and love each other. You know, saying as, as the Lord loved the church, man. All right. So you, you can't forgive your brother, but you want the Lord to forgive you. So you got to forgive your brother, man, and move on, man. You know, saying if you can't even hear the church, then it's like, hey, just go ahead, bro. Just, just go do your own thing and get out. All right. So you got to go to your brother and you want to forgive your brother, all right, so that the Lord can forgive you, all right, because we all want mercy at the end of the day. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai.